With the coronavirus drastically impacting the national and local economy, today we're looking specifically at schools and how are they getting through this tough economic time. Our Shira Matsuzawa talked with the Boise School District this afternoon about its rainy day fund. So Shira, what'd you find out? Well, Kim, last month the Boise School District told us they were facing a $9 million shortfall over the next 14 months. Then on Monday, the School Board of Trustees approved the budget for the 2021 school year. Today we're getting a better picture of how the district will be using that rainy day fund to get them through their rainy days. Now, in case you're not familiar, a rainy day fund is also known as a fund balance, and it's a reserve of money that the school district sets aside. I spoke with the chief financial officer for the Boise School District today, Nancy Landon. She says the board policy requires the school district to have 5.5% of the budget set aside for possible shortfalls in revenue or unknown increased expenses. Now, they also have it set aside to help with bond rating, and before they're able to access the funds, the board must first approve it. We'll use them for such things as the governor's holdback. That's a great example. Last year, as you know, or the current year we're operating in, they required we do a 1% holdback on state revenue. So that's exactly what that fund is set up for us. In case all of a sudden at the end of the year you're told we're not going to be able to pay you what we originally thought we were going to pay you. So as the budget increases, then the amount that you set aside would increase as well. So right now, ours is 5.5%. So going into next year's budget, the required set aside is 13.9% million dollars. The rainy day fund can also be used for unknown expenditures like when we had the big snowstorms a few years ago. Landon says some of those funds were used for costs associated with snow removal and staffing issues. Now currently the Boise School District is estimating that it will have 22 million dollars in its rainy day fund at the end of the fiscal year on June 30th. Landon says the reason they're estimating that the that they'll have more is because with the school closure, they had many areas where they saw some budget savings, like when it comes to transportation, busing and utilities. Landon adds the school district is already planning on using about $6.8 million of the funds for the upcoming school year, and that will go toward things like the 5% holdback as well as the necessary PPE needed for when schools reopen. Now, Boise School District isn't the only school district that has these type of funds, and Landon tells me most uh, public and charter schools will typically set aside 5 to 10% of their budget. Kim? For those rainy days, yeah. yeah. All right, Shira, thanks for explaining that to us.